a lot of you loved my last video about the best streaming settings for TikTok Live Studio. I'll go over them right now in the updated 2024 video. So without further ado, let's hop into it. Let me show you how to get the best possible quality for your TikTok Live stream. Let's go. All right. So now that we are in TikTok Live Studio, the link for the program will be down in the description below if you don't have it installed but you should because you clicked on this video for the best settings. So I believe you already have it installed. So what we need to do is change the streaming settings to get the best possible quality. If we want to do that, we just go to the settings over here in this cog wheel, and then we go into the stream quality on the first thing. So like I said in the previous video, this upload, uh, this automatic speed test that TikTok Live Studio does is completely useless and you should not use it at all. It is garbage. It is inaccurate. It does not show the right uh, settings over here. So what you need to do is go to speedtest.net, which I will link down in the description. We're going to run the speed test. And we're going to see what our actual internet speed is. With that, we can change these settings to the best possible uh, settings for you and me. So let's do that. So we have our speed test open up right over here. We're going to click on go and we're gonna wait until it does the speed test so we can see our download and our upload speed. That is the most important thing regarding streaming. So I have gigabit fiber, like I already said in the last video, so my speed is gonna be uh, absolutely insane, but you might not have this kind of an upload and download speed. We, we're gonna use these numbers and I'm gonna explain what they mean and how you can uh, you know adjust them in TikTok Live Studio. Now that we have done our speed test, you can see the numbers over here. We have download and we have upload. Upload is what we need to look at, and that's what we're going to be changing in the video bitrate later on. So remember this number. If it says 1, 10, 100, whatever, remember this number. We're going to need it later on. All right, so now that we are back into TikTok Live Studio, we have our video quality over here. So for the video quality, uh, you can change this to 720p or 720p 60. Uh, everything above that, I think it's overkill because it is a mobile stream at the end of the day, which means that, you know, people in a phone won't really notice the difference between 1080p and uh, 720p. So I would suggest go for 720p, especially if you have an older PC, even 720p 60. Obviously, that's for gaming much, much better than uh, 30 FPS. So choose that. And then for the resolution, we want to choose uh, the 720p resolution, which is 1280 by 720. That's it. And then for FPS, you can choose either 60 or 30 FPS, 60 if you're gaming, 30 if you're not gaming, games look really good in 60, uh, everything else does not look that good on 60, so if you're doing just like normal camera like this, then go for 30 FPS. Here's the most important thing that we're going to be changing and the reason why we did the speed test in the first place, which is the video bitrate. So if we remember our upload from before, which for me it was 300, which means I can do very, very high bitrate before I notice any congestion on the internet or lag, which if you have like one upload, that means you can only stream on 1000 bitrate, but do not use 100% of your upload for streaming. Make sure to use 80% for your stream and then leave 20% for games, videos, music, whatever else is being broadcasted so it doesn't crash your stream or it doesn't lag your stream. So always have 80% for your stream and then 20% for everything else. So if you have 10 upload, do not use 10,000 bit rate because that's going to crash the stream, it's going to lag. Make sure to use only 8,000 bit rate. So again, like I said, you do not need to use anything above 4,000, at least not for TikTok. So if you have five upload, you can do 3,000. If you have, you know, above that, then you can just chill on 4,000 like me. Audio bit rate is what we're going to be changing as well. I think default is 128. If you have a slow PC or slow internet, you can change this to 128. I would not go below that because the audio quality is going to be garbage. If you have good PC and good internet, then I don't think it's going to use that many resources to go 256 and have that really, really crisp audio uh, quality. So for the encoder, this is the second most important thing that we're going to be changing on our settings. What we need to do over here is change this to either uh, NVIDIA or Intel hard codec. So whatever hard codec you have, you might have the AMD GPU or you might have the AMD CPU. It might be different like this, but it, make sure it's hard codec and not soft. Soft sucks. Remember that? that? I think that's the default one as well, but that one is garbage. You should not be using that at all. If you have an NVIDIA GPU uh, above 20 series, then make sure to use that because you will be using the NVENC chip 
and it will be using way less resources. If you have a, a really good CPU, but your GPU is not that good, make sure to go with your uh, CPU encoder right here. No matter which one it is, AMD or Intel, choose that one on the bottom, but make sure to go for H.264 because that one is just the best uh, for you. And it's again, overkill to go H.265 on a TikTok live stream. For stream latency, we don't want to change anything. That's just to add more delay to your stream in case you're doing like a tournament or you don't want to get stream sniped. And then coded compatibility mode, we don't want to change that at all, but that's if you're having issues like your screen turns green or whatever, you can enable this and that might fix it. I don't know. I didn't have that issue, so I'm not going to change any of that stuff. That's basically it. Those are the best streaming settings. And I can guarantee you, if you have a somewhat decent PC and somewhat decent internet speed, you will not have any issues and the stream is going to look absolutely fantastic. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to drop the like. It would mean the world to me. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you haven't already seen my other TikTok live studio guides, make sure to check them out right over here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.